All right, guys, how are we doing? I understand it's rough out there. It is. Wherever you are, wherever you got your headphones on or wherever you're sitting and listening or watching on your device. There's no sense in watching because I just clearly have this picture up. So don't worry. Throw me in your pocket and let it play. Anyways, guys, welcome to Observe and Report with yours truly. I have to say that uh, introducing this channel to you guys is kind of a, it's kind of like a redid. It's been done over, but uh, I have no problem letting you guys know what's been going on on this channel specifically. Now, I want to inform you guys that this channel had branched off from a previous channel in which has more information on it. Okay, and when you get to the ends of the videos down to the beginning where I first started, you'll see that there's some links to that vi that channel, and you guys can see how long yours truly's been out here at Observe and Report, and how long I've been paying attention. But don't let time mistake you. It's been longer than what is displayed. We've all been here on this planet. For a long time, right? So I have to say, I'm 46 now. I would say I have 46 years experience on this planet. So that should charm you right up there, ladies and gentlemen. 46 years experience on this planet. And I have seen, heard, witnessed, been part of. I cannot believe how much is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Honestly, because it all adds up. You go on my channel and you scroll down, you'll see everything that leads up. Okay? Kamala Harris, Obama, all the way back to 9-11. Fast forward to COVID. We've talked about all kinds of stuff, guys. All kinds of stuff. Now, I apologize to some of you people out there that uh, you might be discouraged because some of the titles of the videos don't strike you. But let me just let you know something else. Is the titles are just there for you to listen because there's something interesting about that topic I talk about. But there's plenty other things I talk about in the subject alone. So have a listen to the whole videos, okay? The whole conversation. That's what it's about, ladies and gentlemen. Taking the whole conversation in. Now, you'll see that it looks like I'm talking to Kamala Harris. It looks like I'm talking to everybody, and that is exactly what I am doing. And I've sent these video clips to them on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. Because that was, that's the world stage, right, ladies and gentlemen? And if you have a discrepancy, if you have a problem, you know, you have something to talk about, you can send it there, right? Right? So that's what I did. Now, for the longest time, I've been putting some things to a test, ladies and gentlemen, because I had the feeling that somebody was, you know, doing something stupid. And we've slowly been figuring that out, but I had my... Twitter account suspended because I was, you know, poking into things that those people consider myself not adequate enough to even make a comment or anything. But I will tell you this, that looks can be deceiving, and that is God's greatest camouflage he has for me. Because I pop into these people's lives, pop out, and they hear what I got to say, and they're supposed to take me for my word. And when they don't, and take my word and go do something else, that's when it becomes all hell breaking loose, as you have seen in the last 15 years. I'll tell you that, ladies and gentlemen. I've been out here sitting back. And yes, I play video games. Yes, I sit on the couch. Yes, I watch videos. 
I have a job, a very good paying job. I'll let you know that. I am happy that I have this job because I get to meet all different people, all kinds of time, every day, every night. And it's great. We're not talking about my job. I'm just informing you guys that I'm not a lazy fuck. Like all these other gamers out there who make money off of gaming and then go and do review videos and blah, 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 all that stuff and make big money off of stuff. And I'm not here to make big money. That is the point here at Observant Report. I'm not here to make any money. I'm just here to express what I have to say. And if somebody listens and says, hey, this guy's got it, then they give me a thumbs up. Instead of, you know, shunning me or shutting down my Twitter account. Especially when it warmed right up to the situation, ladies and gentlemen. We were putting Miss Kamala Harris in her place before she went in to the debate with Donald Trump and before she went in and had her interview with Oprah. It was the interview with Oprah that made everything all clear. And then everybody got ticked off when I was shown a little light with Oprah. Everybody got upset and a little cringed when I started thinking to myself, maybe Oprah's turning a new leaf. Whoa, everybody started just going, oh, God, we can't. It, what? What? How do you know our information isn't coming from her very carefully? She has interviewed all these people. She has sat in an office and discussed personal things with these people. Yet be involved. The whole Diddy situation, all that stuff. Pretty much everybody she's interviewed, right? At these parties, right? Right? Maybe she is trying to turn a new leaf because she knows that it dug a pit for her. Yo, 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 I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. You're saying she's the part of the big thing. I'm like, yeah. What if she turned a new leaf, though? I'm not sticking up for her, guys. Seriously. But what would you do if she turned a new leaf? I, 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 you gotta think about that. You gotta think. You think that it's not uh, it's not possible to uh, change your life around in a matter of you know a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of years. I bet you you would change your mind about Oprah if she voted for Trump. Eh? I bet you you guys would change your mind about Oprah. Probably be kissing her ass if she if she turned around and started uh, promoting Trump, endorsing Trump. Your whole right wing, far right look on Oprah will change. And you guys will change your reports too, won't you? I'm not here to shit on Oprah. I'm here to tell you the reality is the reality. And we all know that if she supported Trump, you guys would be all over that in support for Oprah and The Rock and everybody else. It's called the hypocrites. Everybody in here is a hypocrite, especially when it comes to this morality bracket, this balance of morality. Now I hear that the, everybody's talking. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, everybody's talking. Every, calm down, guys. Calm down. Stop talking about all the 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 rituals, all the all the the Satan and all that, all the Hollywood crap. Stop talking about that for a second, okay? Slow the fuck down. I know all about that shit. I've heard all about that shit. Where do you think this judgment's coming from? Somebody stupid, somebody an idiot hasn't seen all this shit? Hasn't been throwing this shit all, all his life. I've known about uh, the situation with Oprah since the 90s. So you guys can sit on your hands and listen for a moment. Sit on your hands. If you can. Guys, it goes way back. This goes way back, okay? I pointed it out. I uh, have it all here on Observant Report. 
and everybody's more than welcome to follow along, listen, do their listening. I know it sounds boring to listen to somebody's channel over and over again, you know, and listen to my voice because it's so strikingly, you know, charming yet creepy. I get it. Trust me. I have a creepy face to put on to totally change your mind about the creepy face that's natural. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love Halloween. Anyways, guys, I want you to enjoy yourself, listen to some truth coming from my point of view over here at Observant Report. So take a gander, take some of me in and listen. And uh, as I said, everything has uh, turned out the way it's turned out now. And I will tell you, I hate to say I told them so. You notice how I said change that? I told them so. I'm not talking to you and saying I told you so. Because for a moment right now, I'm having faith that you're not one of them. And it's a pleasure to serve you.